In this session, we are going to study what is shear force and what is bending moment. Shear force in a beam at a cross section of the beam. So, what is shear force? Let us we have a beam. This is a simply supported beam. And a load of W is applied at certain point. Suppose this is C point, this is A, this is B. Due to this load, there will be some reaction. Vertical reaction, because this is load is vertical. So only vertical reaction will be there, suppose RA. And there will be vertical reaction at roller point also. This will be RB. And we want to find out the shear force. There will be a shear force developed because this is vertical force. There will be shear force developed at each, each cross section of the beam. At each cross section of the beam. And we want to find out the shear force at a certain cross section x of the beam. Suppose this is our x cross section, right? At a distance small, small x from point A. From A point at a distance x at a point capital X, what is the shear force developed at this point, right? We want to find out the shear force at this point, right? So there will be shear force at this point. If we break this beam, you will find this type of condition. Like this, right? So this is upward, this is downward. So some shear force will be developed in the beam like this and this is our AX, AX. So you can see at X part there will be some shear force developed and this is XB I am making here. This is the another part of the beam XB. So resisting shear force will be like this. So there is this will be the shear force FX acting at point X. right? So we have to find this shear force, this shear force which is acting at x point, right? When the load of W and a reaction RA are there, right? And RB is a reaction at point B. So we have to find out this Fx. What will be the shear force at a cross section of the beam? At x cross section of the beam, what is the shear force, right? So mathematically, the shear force will be the algebraic sum of this force and this force to the left of the section, RA and W, which is at the left of the section, or, or RB to the right of the section. So shear force will be equal to either sum of these forces, RA and W, or some of these forces at the right of the beam, there is only one force RB. So this shear force Fx will be equal to, we are taking upward positive at left, so RA minus W, or it will be equal to RB, right? So this will be the algebraic sum of the forces, algebraic sum of the forces to the left of this section, or you can take to the right of this section, right? So what is shear force? Shear force at a cross section, shear force at, at any cross section of the beam is the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces we are taking only vertical forces because shear force is developing due to vertical forces all the vertical forces all the vertical force to the left of the section either you can take on the left of the section or or to the right of the section to the left of the section or to the right of the section, right? So whatever you want to take, you can take either on the left of the section or you can take right of the section. To, so to this section, so to this section, to the left, there are two forces. 
R A and W vertical forces we are taking only vertical forces here it is written vertical force so we are taking R A and W so R A minus W right one we have taken positive another negative right and to the right of the section this is here it is R B right so this is the shear force right so what is then bending moment bending moment these forces these forces will try to bend this beam try to bend this beam but this beam is not bending right not bending not broken so there will be some resisting moment resisting moment developed in the beam so what is that resisting moment developed at each cross section of the beam so if you are taking for the same same beam we are taking here this ra try to rotate the beam ra this w is also trying to rotate the beam r right suppose it is trying to uh, rotate this in clockwise there will be a resisting bending moment developed in the beam this is the resisting bending moment which is developed at a certain point of the beam that is called bending moment right at a cross section of the beam also to this part this is a x a x this is a point x point this is x b so there will be clockwise moment in this direction at the same same part of the beam here it is anti clockwise like this and here it is clockwise right so and beam and here it is rp right so what is the value of this moment at cross section x what is will be the value of this this will be the moment of ra plus or minus moment of w algebraic sum of the moments of the forces on the left of this cross section or or the moment of the forces to the right of this cross section right and this distance is x we are taking this distance as x this much x right so what is bending moment bending moment at any cross section of beam is the algebraic sum of algebraic sum of moment of for what algebraic sum moment of all the vertical forces vertical forces we are taking moment we are taking moment of all the vertical forces either to the left of cross section or to the right of cross section you can take either to the left of cross section or to the right of cross section like this right you can take leftward forces or you can take rightward forces to find the moment at point x at cross section x so bending moment will be this thing right so if you want to find out bending moment at x x so it will be the moment of ra at x so suppose this distance is uh, given to us us suppose this is this distance from here is say x1 right it is known to us suppose so uh, ra multiplied with this distance this distance is x so this will be ra multiplied by x minus w w is in opposite direction so moment will be in opposite direction minus w multiplied by the distance of w from the x we have taken x1 we have taken x1 here so minus w x1 <clears throat> so this is the moment at x right so 
either you can take left forces moment of the leftward forces or or you can take the moment of the rightward forces also right so suppose this distance this distance is suppose x2 this distance is x2 x2 rb distance from x suppose it is x2 so we can also take the moment at x is rb multiplied by x2 because there is only one force there is only one force to the right of this section right so either you can take leftward forces moment of the leftward forces or you can take moment of the rightward forces of this cross section x you will get the when you algebraically sum these you will get the moment of moment at point x right so this is equality sign you can do this thing or you can do this thing you have to choose only one direction either you have to choose leftward direction or you have to choose the rightward direction